the radio with y'all. So please, hear me out, hear me out. Do not go in there playing. That was a lie. What's up, y'all? It's Jada Boo, and I'm back with another video. That gently touches my soul. What, what, what it do, Jada Boo? Today, I'm just coming to you with a very bare face. It's just a chill video and informational video. So today, I'm just gonna be talking about school and freshman advice because I know school's starting. As y'all can see, I don't have my background with me because I'm going back to school next week. So I'm a junior at Columbus State University. Hits the shirt. And I know that school's starting, so I just wanted to get this video out there for upcoming freshmen because I know it's like nerve-wracking come to a new environment that you're not used to. So I just want to give y'all a insight of what it's like and what you need to do and what you don't need to do. Because I wish there was somebody that was there to tell me the stuff that I should have known. But yeah, my background's gone. I've moved in some of my stuff. So y'all will get to see that video later. But don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you can know when your girl posts and upload get the notification all that good stuff so follow me on all my social medias because i stay posting on there and so you can keep up with me so let's just get right into the video so the first tip that i want to tell you and i have the tips on my phone so i can remember i don't know if y'all already bought y'all books please do not buy them books right now please i'm telling you i don't know how and I feel like I've been in college for years, but it's only been two years. But I don't know how many times I have bought books and I don't use them. Like, they tell me, it's required, it's required. Let me know how required it is two weeks at. Wait until like at least two weeks or a week and buy the book. I bought five books and didn't use but one. If they tell you like, if you don't get this book, you're gonna be kicked out of my class, then of course get the book. But they're just putting it out there on the website for you to get because they just want their coins at the end of the day. Also, another tip. Do not just go buy supplies. So you do not have to buy. Oh my God, I gotta get, I have to get a, Binder, three binders, four binders. Baby, all you need is a pen and a pink pipe. Okay, my freshman year, not gonna lie, that's why I'm telling you this. I bought so many school supplies. Like, I bought tons of paper. I bought tons of binders. All this stuff. Guess what it's doing now? It's getting me through my four years. Like, please do not go over-exaggerate with this. And I know people who take notes on their laptops, their phones. Certain teachers don't want you to be on your phone, but, you know. You can tell her you take taking notes on there. Next tip, use your resources. I know a lot of people say that, but I was on the verge of like taking a class off, but then I was like, I remember somebody, but I don't remember who. Somebody told me to talk to your professors, talk to different people around campus to see if they, you know, have like study groups. Sometimes studying together is not a good thing. I know that, but just try it. You know, sophomore year, I was about to drop another class because literally the whole class was upset with this teacher I'm not gonna say his name but we were literally upset with him because we didn't understand his grading policy and neither did he who's all gonna drop the class or make an appeal once I got to know him and like started talking to him going downtown and talking to him he would like give me information about what's gonna be on the test like hello but anyways use your resources not even school related don't worry so much high school i know that it was it's the same feeling for other people but i wasn't scared at all i was ready to come ready to meet new people but some people are anxious don't worry too much because you have time like college is nothing but time even though it goes by quick like i'm already a junior enjoy yourself at the end of the day do, do not hold yourself to something what other people are gonna hold you at like get your work get your yes you're gonna get your work but you still have to have fun mental is first like it's so many things before get your work you know if you don't you're gonna be a mess for real next thing do not think that you are gonna have it together walking in the door the first day of school as a freshman you're human everybody's gonna be like having doubts about things that they're gonna do in life so sometimes college is not for everyone you can probably do like one semester and just feel the vibe and be like no probably not for me i remember when my teachers in high school were telling me oh them colleges teachers let me get my glasses those colleges teachers they don't play 
They don't play the radio with y'all. So please, hear me out, hear me out. Do not go in their plane. That was a lie. I don't know if it's just the university that I go to, but they're very chill and relaxed. I don't know, it's just not strict how they said and how they claimed it to be. Like, I thought I was going into jail. They was like, if you don't do your assignment on time, you're gonna be drunk. Um, also, join clubs. You don't wanna be stuck in your room not doing nothing for four years and then you're like, dang, I wish I coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, but you didn't. Just enjoy yourself and have fun, get involved in the stuff they have on campus. Enjoy yourself, don't, don't do that. And now we're getting into the good stuff. The great stuff, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that no one tells you of not just school, but living there. Do not, and I repeat, do not leave your clothes in the washer or dryer because they will take your stuff out. Like, they will either take your stuff out or they will take it home. <laughs> Soon that timer go off, run down there. It never happened to me. Also, try new things that you would never try. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't try to not be who you are. Stay true to yourself, but get out your comfort zone and still be confident, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy, like, have fun and have work. Another tip is to embrace yourself. Do not get hung up with friends. So take out time for yourself. Do not worry about how people will react to it. Dang, she, she said she didn't want to go to the movies with me. Well, are you going to take my quiz? Because take time out for yourself, like studying, like pamper, all that like good stuff. Take time for yourself. And I'm the type of person, if I don't want to be bothered, I'm going to be by myself. It's going to come a time that somebody's going to be like, well, dang. You just, you just dropped us off like that. Y'all didn't even have to do that. You could have came out. I couldn't have came out because I got a test and ain't nobody finna do that for me. So take time up for yourself, mentally, physically, all that good stuff. And I know freshman year, you don't really take everything serious. Try to take it as serious as possible. It, it's gonna catch up. Do your work your freshman year because that's literally the trademark. And then everything just follows. Another thing is get your sleep. I'm telling you. Oh, a reverse. <laughs> Please do not get a nine o'clock and I'm still struggling with that today. Do not get a nine o'clock, do not get a 10 o'clock. Please go 12 and later because you're gonna wanna take a nap probably after your nine o'clock, probably till nighttime. Please do not go for the eight o'clock, nine o'clock, please don't. For, as a freshman, you're gonna struggle with getting up and you're probably not gonna get up, which leads to failing the class. If you got the class right now, that's uh, eight o'clock, click off this video right now, take it off your schedule, click back on this video so we can finish the tip. I'll give you like 10 seconds. Just get your sleep at night. Like I know probably like the first two months are gonna be a little rocky because you wanna go to all these events that's gonna happen. Going to bed at three o'clock, waking up at eight o'clock, what sense does that make? So I had to learn that my second semester, if you tend to go to parties in universities, if you are drinking, smoking, that's true. <laughs> doing anything, watch it. Please, just watch your drinks because there's crazy people out here. This is probably the last tip, the best tip. If you see your grade, should it be your grade? Let them know. At the end of the day, you're paying for that. Let them know, go talk to them. If you think your grade is a 79 and you think it should be an 80, argue that because they're gonna try to work with you and understand where you're coming from. Do what you're supposed to do and get out of there, you know? They, they're they not gonna help you. I'm gonna let you know that now. They're not gonna help you be right before a test. Say the test is next week and you've had three months to ask them about this subject and you've been sitting in class like this don't go at the last minute and expect them to give you no handout but yeah just enjoy yourself stay true to yourself but anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you can know when your girl posts and i'll see you in my next video ah. I just fall like